Are you looking for the best saves you can do in Serie A in Football Manager 2024? Then look no further than this video. First off, we have Fiorentina and what a save Laviola is in Football Manager 2024. They were founded in the year 1926 and in real life, Vincenzo Italiano has got them playing some unbelievable football, culminating in them getting to the Europa Conference League final last year where they sadly missed out against West Ham. It was a tight game and West Ham won it in the last minute, but can you finally bring Fiorentina some glory? They've had some unbelievable players play for the club in real life. Players like World Cup winning Dunga, Roberto Baggio, Luca Tony, Rui Costa, Gabriel Batigol, Batistuta. They are a team that has been stacked with talent and their squad currently is also stacked with talent. They've got some great players. Lucas Martinez Quarta. If you don't know about him, he was one of the best centre-backs about five years ago on Football Manager. A cheap beast and he's turning into the player that we all believed he could be at Fiorentina. He's a regular starter for the club and one of the best cheap centre-backs on the game. But his centre-back partner is one of the best centre-backs on the game as well. And another cheap beast in Nikola Milenkovic. The Serbian international has 43 caps and 3 goals. He's got unbelievable strength, jumping reach, natural fitness and heading. And as we know, corners are so overpowered this year. He will be an absolute beast. You've also got players like Mercurial Talents in Arthur. Hasn't really done anything since he left Juventus. Had a season-long loan at Liverpool. Didn't play one minute for them. And is trying to revive his career at Fiorentina. If you can get the best out of this 26-year-old, you will be in for an absolute treat because he had bags and bags of talent. Bonaventura, one of the older members of the squad and a, a former Italian international with 14 caps. He's had a varied career around Italy, at Atalanta, at AC Milan and at Fiorentina. He's got 95 games for the club, 12 goals, and he's having a bit of a revival in real life as well. Their forward line is one of the best forward lines in the league. Nico Gonzalez, I won't have it any other way. This young man is absolutely fantastic. Worth up to 45 million and his stats prove it. He is a constant threat, a pest, a goal threat. And if you can get the best out of this Argentine international, you're on to one of the best wingers in Serie A. And to fix it all off, you've got Mbala Nanzola. He is a striker that's come from Spezia, having scored one goal in every three games for Spezia, a small club in Italy. He's come to the big time at Fiorentina, and can you get the best out of him? On last year's FM, he was one of the best strikers. How far can you take La Viola? Can you take them to being the best team in Italy? And if you love save recommendation videos for Football Manager, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel because I have a lot of these. Next up is one of the hipsters' favourite in Atalanta. They play unbelievable football, and Gianpaolo Gasparini has got them fit and flowing. They play some unbelievable football and their squad is very, very good as we'll come on to see. They were founded in the year 1907. They've only got a small stadium and it is a mixture of grass and synthetic grass, but it's in good condition. It was built in 1928. You've got 13,000 season ticket holders, so you're going to fill out the stadium each and every week. Talking of their squad, their squad is probably one of the best in the league in my opinion. Jan Musso in goal is a goalkeeper that goes under the radar. One of my favourite goalkeepers on Football Manager. He was a beast when he played for Udinese and has been absolutely solid for Atalanta, playing 57 games for the club. And if we move through, you've got the probably the best wonder kid centre-back on the game, in my opinion. Giorgio Scalvini is the next Fabio Cannavaro. Big things expected from this young man. He's already got four caps for the Italian national side at the age of 19. He's got 16 work rate, 16 determination, 17 anticipation. This guy, if you've never had him, have you been under a rock? Because he's the best young centre-back on the game. Other players that will provide a lot of experience in the team is Tune Coop Miners. He's only 25 years of age, but he's played 204 competitive games already for AZ and for Atalanta. And this guy is one of the best box-to-box -box ball winning midfield players on the game. If you haven't tried him, go out and get him because he's an absolute beast. And he is the heartbeat of that midfield. Another player that doesn't really get spoken about too much is Mario Pasalic. Only worth 10 million. He's got 38 goals in 162 games for Atalanta. If I was you, I would keep him at the club and have him as a bench option. But he will provide great cover in the central midfield for you. Where they are stacked 
On loan, they've got one of the best cams in the game. Charles the Catalier didn't really kick off his career at AC Milan last season. He's trying to revive it here at Atalanta. You've got him for a season. Make use of him because he is unbelievable. One of my favorite wonder kids ever on a football manager game. He will provide you with plenty of assists and the goals you need as well. Another summer arrival is Gianluca Scamacca. Had a bad injury at West Ham. Didn't really live up to his hype that he came from in Sassuolo. But he is Italy's number nine these days. And he's got 11 caps for the national side. And he's a finisher. He's a complete forward in my opinion. He's going to score bags and bags and bags of goals in Serie A. Count my words for it. Will you take Atalanta to the top? Can you make Atalanta the best side in Serie A history? A personal save favourite of mine is AS Roma. Currently managed by the Mercurial manager Jose Mourinho, but they have got a very Mourinho-like squad. They've had legends play for them like Francesco Totti, Radamel Falcao, Daniele De Rossi, Al Dair, and so, so many more, including my favourite ever right back, that is Cafu. They've got a squad now that is ready to compete with the best in the league. They've got goalkeeper Rui Patricio, who is the Portuguese number one. He is getting on in years, but as a goalkeeper, he's still got a couple of years left at the top level. Other players that you'll be lucky to manage is Lorenzo Pellegrini, a great Italian central midfield player. Doesn't get spoken enough about on Football Manager, but has always come up trumps for me in any save that I've had him on other players include Renato Sanchez who is on loan you've got him on loan for the season from PSG this guy has flattered to deceive in so many years can you finally get the best out of him and finally make him live up to the potential he promised all those years ago and up front you've got many options you've got Romelu Lukaku who cost into Milan a Champions League last year by standing in the way of a tap-in goal but he's here to score goals for you at Roma. On loan from Chelsea, you've got him from the season. He's had a big impact whenever he's played in Italy. He easily can get you 20 goals a season. And if he can't do it, then another young man called Tammy Abraham is definitely one of the players that can. 25 goals in 75 for Roma is not bad. It's a one in three. And this guy can definitely get you 10, 15 goals a season. He's currently injured for seven to eight months. So he'll come towards the back end of the season where he could get you five to seven goals, which could be crucial in you winning the title. How far can you take AS Roma? Can you bring them back the Scudetto? Sometimes referred to as Juventus's second team, Sassuolo are a club that have flattered to deceive in many, many seasons. They've got some good players and they've had Roberto Di Zerbi, their manager, to thank for this in the past. Now managed by Alessio Dionisi, they've got great players in their squad and you'll be familiar with some of these players as we move down the list players like Pedro Obiang who was once at West Ham he's not going to be the mainstay in your squad he does have injury problems but he is a good experienced option for you off the bench once he recovers from those injuries one of the players that I would be excited to manage is Uros Racic doesn't get spoken about enough. He is a very good midfield player. The Serbian international stats are very good for a club that want to finish in the top half of Italian Serie A in the first season. And he would be someone I would look to try and get the best out of. Mercurial talents, as I mentioned, Samu Castellejo is a player who's flattered to deceive at AC Milan at Valencia at Villarreal. Can you finally get the best out of this winger? He had so much promise four or five years ago. If you can get him fit and firing, he could be the difference in you finishing below European places and above them. But their main man hasn't changed for many, many years. It is Domenico Berardi, the right winger, one of the best wingers on Football Manager, came from Juventus' academy and has played over 300 games for Sassuolo at the age of 28. He's always been on the verge of a big move, but has always decided to stay at Sassuolo, a bit like a Francesco Totti. Can you take Sassuolo all the way to the Scudetto and more? Last but not least, a club that needs no introduction, and it is Juventus. They're in all sorts of problems in real life. They've got terrible financial situations going on, but they are a club with rich and deep history. They've had so many unbelievable players play for them. The ones that I'm going to rattle off, you're going to be very familiar with. Zidane Zidane, Edgar Davids, Alessandro Del Piero, Pavel Nedved, 
Gigi Buffon, Antonio Conte, so many more. They are a club that is stacked with legends. But recently, they haven't won very much, and they are suffering under Max Allegri. Can you do a better job than him with the squad that you've currently got? The squad isn't prime Juventus, but it's decent enough. Let's be honest. You've got Wojciech Szczesny in goal, who's 33 years of age. A lot of Juve fans say he is not the best goalkeeper they've ever had. But he is still very good for the player that you've got currently. Bremer is what they're all holding their hopes on to be a world-class centre-back. And he has had a good start to the club. Four goals in 30 games. And he's got some unbelievable stats. He's always been very good for me on any save I've had him on. So I'd highly recommend using him if you are the old lady. Other players that really do need a bit of going under the radar is Timothy Ware. A summer signing. Most UV fans were very disappointed in this signing. Son of a legend. Is he a Napo baby or can you get the best out of this young man who has been promising to be one of America's best ever players for a long, long time? Let's just say he's nowhere near his dad's level. He's not a Ballon d'Or winning striker by any stretch of the imagination. But in their forward line, they do have Dusan Vlajevic, who is a striker that you will score goals with. He always scores goals. He hasn't really been the striker that they hoped in real life. Only 17 goals in 42 appearances for the old lady. But if you can make a tactic that gets the best out of Vlajevic, you will quite easily dominate Serie A within a first few seasons. Another player that I really can't miss out, and he's not an obvious choice, is Samuel Illing. He's very, very talented. A lot of people are not talking about him. He's going under the radar a little bit. But he is a big talent in Football Manager 2024. And him and Federico Chiesa will be absolutely key for you. Keep this young man or sell him on for a massive, massive fee and fix Juve's debt. It is up to you. But can you bring back the old lady to being the best club in Italy? And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next save video.